blood. What is blood made from? Blood is made up of a watery fluid called plasma and billions of tiny blood cells. There are two types of blood cells in your blood. Red blood cells and white blood cells. Red blood cells are needed for carrying oxygen around your body while white blood cells fight any infection that might enter your body. Blood also contains tiny fragments called platelets which help your blood to clot when you cut yourself. What does blood do? Blood has many functions in the body. It is the body's transport system carrying oxygen and nutrients to the body's cells and taking waste products away. White blood cells are like soldiers and defend the body from invading germs. When you cut yourself, platelets in your blood form a protective clot to protect and heal your body. Blood also helps to keep your body at the right temperature. When you get hot, your blood vessels expand and allow heat to escape through the skin. When your body is cold, your small blood vessels get smaller, allowing less heat to escape from your body. Why is blood red in colour? You have many more red blood cells than white blood cells in your blood. Red blood cells contain red coloured chemical called haemoglobin which gives your blood its red colour. Red blood cells transport oxygen from the lungs to all parts of the body. It then picks up carbon dioxide which is waste from the body and returns it to the lungs where it is breathed out. The body needs iron to form haemoglobin. If there is a lack of iron in your body, you can become seriously ill. How is blood carried round the body? Blood travels round the body in three types of tubes called arteries, veins, and capillaries. Collectively, these are your blood vessels. Arteries are big and thick and carry blood away from the heart to all parts of the body. Veins are thinner than arteries and carry blood from all parts of the body back to the heart. The tiniest blood vessels are called capillaries which connect arteries and veins and allow oxygen and food to pass into the body's cells. The tiny capillaries also pass on the waste again to veins. How much blood is in your body? As you grow, so the volume of blood in your body increases. Newborn babies have about 250 ml of blood, about a cup full, while an adult has around 5 liters of blood. About half of your blood is watery plasma. The rest is made up of cells and the nutrients and hormones which it carries. Your heart pumps around 300 liters of blood an hour or all of your blood volume each minute. This adds up to an amazing 7,200 litres a day and 2.6 million litres of blood a year. That's over 700 swimming pools worth. Why does blood clot? When you cut or injure yourself, tiny fragments in your blood clump together to form a clot which stops the bleeding and prevents germs from entering the wound. The clot seals the wound 
and also stops germs from entering the broken skin. The clot slowly hardens into a scab which protects the wound while it heals. How long can the blood vessels be stretched? If all the blood vessels in your body were joined together, they would stretch over 60,000 miles or two and a half times round the earth. What is blood pressure? Heart is the organ responsible for pumping blood. The heart pumps blood into the aorta. The pressure or flow of blood in the aorta and its main branches is defined as blood pressure. The heart has to develop a high pressure so that blood can be pumped through the fine contraction of systolic phase. It is equal to that exerted by a column of 120 mm of mercury. In the relaxation of diastolic phase, it is about 80 mm of mercury. It is typically 120 to 80 in the artery of a resting adult person. It varies from person to person and is affected by age, sex, heredity, physical and emotional states and other factors. Blood pressure is measured by an instrument called sigmomanometer. What is blood transfusion? Blood is a very vital component of our body. In the case of serious injury, accident or during an operation, we may lose considerable amount of blood from our body. Some diseases and health conditions also affect blood formation, causing blood deficiency or anemia. In all such cases, Blood is introduced in our body to replenish the lost blood. This is called blood transfusion. Blood from a healthy person is transferred to the deficient person. The person who gives blood is called a donor, while the person who receives it is called the recipient. However, only a suitable donor can donate blood to a recipient. The recipient can approach the blood bank where blood collected from the donor is stored.